there, Lindsay here, the Frugal Crafter. Today for Frugal Friday, I have a tip on how to keep your brushes protected if you like to travel with them. And I had a viewer reach out to me and ask me how he could travel with these brushes without damaging them um, because he's used a brush roll in the past and he has damaged brushes. So uh, this is a tip I shared with him and a tip I'm gonna share with you as well. So what you wanna do is have some sort of like a tube or can or box, um, doesn't have to be this big, but this is just what I, uh, what I have and have on hand. A Pringles can would work well. Um, any sort of tube that you have really, or any sort of long box, pencil box, anything like that that's long enough for your brushes. And then what you want to do is you want to take a barbecue skewer or a chopstick is really nice because it's really durable. And you want to kind of gather that up with your brushes and you want to make sure that the, the chopstick or whatever you have is a little bit taller than your brushes. Ideally, you want to make it the same height. So this is a short, shorter than my brushes, so I'm just going to pull it up a little bit longer like that. Actually, I might turn it that way. I think it'll be a little bit more, um, more strong. And then you're going to take a rubber band and you are going to wrap it around your brushes nice and tight so they're all together in a bundle. Now you're going to notice that your brush heads are not getting smushed together. They're not... Um, you know, they're not getting like crunched up like they might in a brush roll. They're not getting matted up. If they're wet, there's still air circulating around them. Then you're simply gonna put them in your can, whether it's a Pringles can or whatever you have. And this, um, the, uh, the chopstick is gonna keep it from letting your bristles hit the can if it gets like jostled around when you are like, traveling with it. You could actually roll up a rag in here. You could put your paint set in this. I mean, this is a big can. You could put all kinds of stuff in there. That's just gonna keep your bristles from banging the top. Now, because this is such a wide, I wouldn't get something so big um, if you're just carrying a few brushes because they will tip over a little bit, but all it's gonna do is just maybe press them to the side a little bit. It's not gonna crunch them like you would if you just threw them loose into a, um, a box or a tube like this and let them jostle around in your bag. Now, um, when I'm traveling to teach, I actually have a couple of these standing up and this is the one I keep all my flat brushes in. So it just stands up in my, um, my travel bag so I don't have to worry about that. But if you just got a few and uh, you wanna make sure they don't get damaged, just make sure you have them in a case and you've got a little chopstick or ruler or something. Or if you have nothing, you've gotten away from the house and you don't have anything, turn one of your brushes around and bundle it up. Just make sure you have an elastic handy. So there's my Frugal Friday tip. Keep those brushes safe because they're an investment. You've, you've paid money for them, you've invested in them, and you want to keep them lasting a long time. And this is going to help you do that. Thank you so much for watching. Please give me a thumbs up if you like these Frugal Friday quick tips. And until next time, happy crafting.